The sudden closure of the Red Lion Hotel in Cromwell has left many people stranded. Employees, tenants, even people planning events there. Channel 3's Mike Savino is in Cromwell tonight. And Mike, is there anything the town can do about this? Yeah, well, that's what the officials are trying to figure out right now. It does sound that the people who are living in the hotel have been able to find other places to go. So the focus right now is on employees and on those people who had booked events here. So right now the focus is on trying to get them information, even hosting a job fair for some of those employees. Remember that the food, the uh, Red Lion Hotel was closed on Friday after the DRS, the Department of Revenue Services, came in and suspended their license. Uh, they abruptly even said all of the guests had to leave. So that's when those employees, those people, People living there, even people who had events, were suddenly left stranded. And take a listen to what the town officials had to say. Well, we're working with uh, the Chamber of Commerce and also with the Department of Labor to see if we can put on a job fair here at the town hall for those employees that lost their positions. I'm hearing from concerns uh, from uh, people who have uh, reserved uh, space at the hotel who want to uh, hold events there. In some cases they put down deposits. Now that sales tax permit is not the only financial issue for the owners of the Red Lion in Cromwell. Uh, they also owe about $233,000 in taxes this year, although half of that is a payment that isn't fully due until the end of the month. Um, also, the owner of, the, of this property, uh, Joseph Gillespie of Florida, has filed for bankruptcy for a number of businesses uh, that he owns. We will reach out to him today, uh, but a no phone number listed under his name was disconnected. We also tried to talk to the Department of Revenue Services about the Red Lion's tax problems, but the DR says that it cannot share that information. Live from the Mobile Newsroom, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.